Hey guys, welcome back to part two on this uh, Stewart 7A. So, off camera, I ran it some more, and I did adjust the timing on it. And, well, it is freeing up some. We don't have that horrendous tight spot. It's still snug, but let's put some air to it. And we're going to see how it runs now. It sounds a whole lot smoother. It seems like it's running a whole lot more even. But, listen. You guys can see what I'm doing. If I just put a little bit of upward pressure, I can feel it on this base. You hear it knocking? I get that exhaust blowing away from the camera. You know when something's knocking, we need to answer it. Let's get this air shut off. How much smoother it runs now, though. You gotta love Stuart models. Alright. Well, we know that it was primarily a timing issue on why it wanted to fight itself. But, we gotta figure out what this knock is. And I don't know, well... You can almost see it here. It's in our mains. We have almost no back and forth float when we get to that tight spot. So, we've got to tear this down. Let's get into it. Okay, we've got the small end of our connecting rod, that cross head slide off we don't have access we've got to take our valve eccentric rod off let's get that off next okay well we've got our nut off the back side of this i'm going to pull this bolt and i noticed it and i wanted to share it with you guys but can you guys see the misalignment that we've got going on here that very well could have been what was binding up. This is very free moving, but we don't line up. You go to put it in there and just it, it cocks everything off to the side. So, all right, well, there was an issue there. Okay, let me keep moving on this. Okay, we have our crosshead slide bolt out of here. So that should free up our piston. And, uh, well, see that one there? The fit on that one is also dragging it with it. And there's no bushing in between. Let's get that freed up. And that one there even seems to be side loading. Our crank turns nice and free. I think what happened is, well, our crank is pushed this way. Our cylinder is pushed that way. And our valve chest up here is also pushed over that way. I think we have an alignment issue, guys. Let's get this cylinder off the top of here. Okay, we've got three of the four off. Pull this last one off. These are studded in there. That's nice. I like it when they use studs and nuts. Oh. That fell down to the bottom. We can get it out. There. Now we have our cylinder and valve chest assembly apart. There. It's gummy, but free moving. You hold this up. That clicking you hear. Well, that's our uh, connector rod slapping back and forth. But, 
We don't have any binding down here. I think what we have is a misalignment issue, guys. So, all right. Well, we'll let it sit here. I'll see you guys in a day or two. We'll keep moving on it. Thanks again for watching. Right there if you want to subscribe. We'll see you soon. Thanks, guys.